Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel and today we are checking out the latest release from the Flight Sim Factory and that is the 777 Pro Throttle Set for the Bravo Throttle Quadrant. Flight Sim Factory does an absolutely outstanding job making authentic and to scale throttle handles for various aircraft including Airbus and Boeing and today we're going to check this one out. If you are interested in acquiring any of my Overkill's tutorial guides for Microsoft Flight Simulator or simply interested in supporting the channel, please consider joining us on Patreon. Patreon subscribers level tier 2 and above have access to all of my guides, as well as any future releases that come down the road. Patreon link can be found in the description below. All right, you guys. So once again, I want to give a big shout out to the Flight Sim Factory for sending me this very awesome 777 set. You guys, Flight Sim Factory has a ton of different throttle sets um, for the Bravo Throttle Quadrant. I highly recommend, even if you're not interested in the Boeing 777 that is showcased in this video, that you check out their website as they have a ton of different throttle handles and configurations for various aircraft, including general aviation. So guys, again, link to this will be down in the description below. It will be to their general purchase site as well as a link to these specific products. However, let's get into the gorgeousness of what we are seeing here. They even had, did the brown uh, texturing that you guys see in the Boeing 777 from PMDG. Obviously, given the fact that this is designed around the Bravo Throttle Quadrant, the Bravo Throttle Quadrant, or yeah, the Bravo Throttle Quadrant is required. The 3D printing is absolutely outstanding, absolutely, completely flawless from what I can tell. I looked everything over in and out. All of the inlays for the uh, detents have nice felt linings, so you don't have to worry about them scratching or damaging any of your products. They come very, very well packaged. Uh, one little box contains everything, but as you can see, everything is individually contained in its own wrapped um plastic containers. Um, again, absolutely no damage. There was no issue. They also have the pre-tear sort of cuts in them. So that way they make it very, very easy to tear open. You don't have to worry about pulling scissors out or anything like that. That may damage the uh, products. The assembly process is even simpler, you guys. Once we get through the unboxing here, that's pretty much it, as you guys can see right there. Um, he even thought of guards for the unused uh, throttle levers that we'll see here in just a second. Assembly, as I said, very, very simple. They have the auto throttle push buttons that you guys see on the 777, much different than what we see in the Boeing. They actually have that, uh, just you just bring your finger, uh, your index and middle fingers down and push the button down in and your auto throttle is ready to go as well, well as the toga and auto throttle disc or autopilot auto throttle disengage that is found on the throttle handles. Don't ask me why that was so difficult to say because I'm not quite sure. But again, assembly takes a matter of minutes. You assemble, they just slide right on. The speed brake and flaps have their secure pins that keep them in place, which you guys will see in just a moment. But you can see how easily everything comes together. I'm gonna go ahead and just sort of talk on through. There's the detent for the speed brake. Here's the cover that I was telling you guys about that uh, goes on the unused axis. That way you don't have to worry about the contacts being damaged as well as just more aesthetically pleasing as well. Although I think on this one, I put the wrong one on initially. So let's go ahead and grab the correct one there. And yep, there we go. I was right. So um, a little bit of everything was thought through on this one. Everything from handling the unused access to making sure the inlays are safe for assembly into the Bravo so you don't scratch anything. Again, the flap detent now going in. Pops right in, you guys. There's no forcing. The thing I really liked about the texturing on these ones that I don't remember seeing on my previous ones is that the lettering is actually overlaid. Um, meaning that it's not engraved, so you can actually feel a raised texturing on them, which I don't know why, but I found that aesthetically pleasing. Uh, they are very, very nice. The nice gloss finish looks very, very clean, looks very, very slick. Again, flawless 3D printing job. Here's those safety pins I was telling you about, secure pins. So you pull the pin out just enough where you can make on uh, contact, slide it onto the rail, push the pin in that way it keeps it secure and what's really cool about the flap detent is it actually works just like the real aircraft same thing with the 737 version that he has and that is that there are certain locations that are raised 
And that is going to be at, I believe it is the 5 and 25 degrees of flaps condition where there are stops. So you pull the flap lever back and you're going to feel the first stop is going to be at the 5 degree flap. And you actually have to lift up over into the gate and then same thing back out. And what this enables real world pilots to do is to get an idea of where everything is prior to or without actually having to look down. So when you feel that first detent, you know that's the flaps five, so you just lift it up over, you know you're in flaps five. And then coming down to flaps 25, same thing, you're gonna feel that detent, you know where you're at. Um, so it makes it really, really easy. When it comes to uh, handling the, the throttles in the real aircraft, I do recommend increasing the tension on your Bravo throttle quadrant if you wanna get the most out of this. And that's because keep in mind, as we stated before, the throttle handles themselves are one-to-one -one scaling. So I have very big hands, you guys, very big hands. And so the fact that uh, they fit so comfortably in mine, you can see they extend past my middle fingers, you really get that realistic feel to it. And so by increasing the tension, you just sort of get that more ump feeling if you guys, you guys, you'll know what I'm talking about. Guys, you know what I'm talking about, right? We, we, we you gotta grab that throttle and just push it in and it just feels right, okay? Anyway, sorry, I got a little excited there. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, you did see me there as we uh, increased engine power. I did push into the auto throttle, it engaged. They have a nice QR code inside Inside the box guys that walks you through both the assembly as well as the configuration within Microsoft Flight Simulator. The detents are set up in a way that you don't have to worry about setting curves or dead zones or anything like that. They literally work straight out of the box. I think the only thing you have to do uh, is invert a couple of the axes but that's a check mark on the axis in Microsoft Flight Simulator. So here we are increasing the flaps and like I was telling you, uh, I will tell you with the lift gates on the detents, they do take a little getting used to, but once you get used to it, it's very, very nice. Um, I haven't flown my PMDG in a little bit, so unfortunately I wasn't used to it anymore. But uh, I did want you guys to see that. Gosh, that is such a large freaking aircraft. The 777 is such a massive bird. I cannot get over it. Uh, by the way, guys, my PMDG 777 tutorial guide is getting ready to release. Finally, uh, got everything ironed out, and we're getting ready to let it go this week. So stay tuned for that. If you're interested in supporting that, make sure you guys catch me on Patreon. So here we are now coming in on the approach, starting to bring the flaps back down now. Uh, we basically just did a circuit, took off using the Orca 5 departure out of Los Angeles, and we're coming back in using the Hollywood 1. So we're just about to connect to Sivu and working our way in. I configured everything a bit earlier. That way I could try to get you guys some cool external shots here in a second. So again, we're slowing the aircraft down here. You already see that we have flaps deployed. And I can't stress enough, the flap lever is actually probably one of the coolest to use. It just feels cool. Same thing with the speed brake axis, just talk for just a second here. On the speed brake axis, you also have the armed and down detent. So again, you simply just slightly move that speed brake axis and the speed brakes are armed. And again, no configuration required, no dead zones, no curves. You just set the throttle or the axis and he's got the detents right where they need to be. So here we are coming in for our landing. This is my second ever landing in the PMDG 777. So that was kind of cool. Uh, it actually wasn't too bad. Came in a little hot because we're pretty heavy, but the thrust reversers, guys, they, this is the best version of the thrust reversers Flight Sim Factory has released yet, in my opinion. The tension springs that he used, I think, are significantly stronger than they were before because uh, it felt really, really nice. It didn't feel like a, a simple switch. It felt like a nice pull. You really had to get your fingers over there and drag them up. Uh, so really, really well done on the thrust reverse. I think that was my most fun part of using this was uh, on the landing, you know, pulling those throttles back and then reaching forward and being able to drag that uh, those thrust reversers out was a lot of fun. There was just something that was different in the tension on the springs this time. Um, so again, to Flight Sim Factory, fantastic job with this particular model set. And guys, I have used all of his sets that he has sent me so far. I still to this day use the Airbus A320 configuration as well as the Boeing 737. Um, I haven't had my Bravo out in a minute, but uh, every time that I fly it and I'm in one of the airliners, I bust out his set because they feel significantly different. I promise this isn't just some gimmick things. It isn't just aesthetic. You will notice a massive difference in the immersive experience while flying these aircraft. So last time, guys, Flight Sim Factory, make sure you guys check them out. The website will be down in the description below as well as a link to this product specifically. I really recommend that you guys take a look at everything he's got. If you have the Bravo, and you're looking for an increased immersion from the Bravo, this is definitely the way to go. Uh, the buttons are metal uh, contacts on the um, auto throttle release, as well as um, the nice tactile feel that you get from the auto throttle engagements. 
As always, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Stay safe and healthy. See you in the next one.